Is our universe fine-tuned for life? Are we the result of an extraordinarily fortunate cosmic accident or is there more to it? Today we're talking about the anthropic principle and we try to answer the question, why is the universe the way it is? More specifically, why is it so perfectly suited for life, at least in the tiny corner we call home? The anthropic principle attempts to explain this apparent coincidence. It states that the very fact of our existence places constraints on the possible properties and constants of the universe. In simpler terms, the universe must be capable of supporting life because we are here to observe it. This might seem obvious at first, however, the anthropic principle goes beyond simply acknowledging our existence. It delves into the specific conditions that allow for life and how these conditions relate to the fundamental laws of physics and the universe's evolution. The anthropic principle is not without its critics and controversies. It has sparked debates among cosmologists, philosophers and theologians alike. Is it a profound insight into the nature of reality or a tautological statement that tells us absolutely nothing new? Let's explore the interesting implications that this principle holds. The anthropic principle is often divided into two versions, weak and strong. These two interpretations offer different perspectives on why the universe appears to be fine-tuned for life. The weak anthropic principle, or WAP, is the less controversial of the two. It provides a straightforward explanation that doesn't delve into deeper philosophical or require metaphysical implications. It argues that we observe the universe to be fine-tuned for life because if it weren't, we simply wouldn't be here to observe it. In other words, our very existence is proof that the universe has the right conditions for life. Imagine a universe where gravity was much stronger. In such a scenario, the fundamental forces that govern the cosmos would be drastically different. Stars would burn out quickly, leaving no time for planets to form, let alone life to evolve. The rapid collapse of stars would create a chaotic environment unsuitable for the development of complex organisms. The weak anthropic principle simply states that we find ourselves in a universe with the right conditions for life because those are the only conditions that allow us to exist. It doesn't imply any deeper reason or purpose behind these conditions. The strong anthropic principle, or SAP, goes a step further. It delves into the idea that the universe is not just a random occurrence, but has an inherent tendency to produce life. It suggests that the universe is compelled in some way to bring about life and consciousness. This could mean that the laws of physics are fine-tuned in such a way that life is an inevitable outcome. This could be due to some unknown physical law. The strong anthropic principle opens the door to questions about the fundamental nature of reality and whether there is an underlying intention behind the universe's structure. The strong anthropic principle is a much bolder claim and has sparked much debate. It challenges our understanding of the universe and our place within it, prompting scientists and philosophers to explore new theories and ideas. It raises questions about the nature of the universe and our place within it. Are we merely a byproduct of random cosmic events or is there a deeper significance to our existence? Is our existence simply a fortunate accident or is it a necessary outcome of the universe's fundamental nature? The strong anthropic principle encourages us to consider the possibility that life is an integral part of the cosmos. The distinction between the weak and strong anthropic principles is crucial for understanding the ongoing debate surrounding this fascinating concept. Each principle offers a unique lens through which we can view the universe and our place in it. While the weak anthropic principle is generally accepted as a truism, the strong anthropic principle remains a topic of intense discussion and speculation. The exploration of these principles continues to inspire curiosity and wonder about the cosmos and our role within it. The fine-tuning of the universe for life is evident in countless ways. From the vast expanse of galaxies to the intricate details of atomic structures, the universe seems to be meticulously calibrated to support life. Let's start with our own planet, Earth. This blue and green marble floating in the vastness of space is a prime example of this cosmic balancing act. Its position in the solar system, its atmosphere and its magnetic field all play a crucial role in making it habitable. The Earth is situated at just the right distance from the Sun, known as the Goldilocks Zone, where conditions are neither too hot nor too cold. Earth orbits the Sun within the habitable zone, where temperatures are just right for liquid water to exist. Water, a fundamental ingredient for life as we know it, remains in a liquid state, enabling the complex chemistry of life to unfold. A slight shift closer or farther from the Sun, and our planet would be either a scorching inferno or a frozen wasteland. 
This delicate balance is crucial for maintaining the stable climate that supports diverse ecosystems. Our atmosphere, a delicate balance of nitrogen, oxygen and other gases, provides us with the air we breathe and protects us from harmful radiation. The ozone layer, for instance, shields us from the sun's ultraviolet rays, which can be detrimental to life. Earth's magnetic field acts as a shield against the sun's solar wind, preventing it from stripping away our atmosphere. This magnetic field is generated by the movement of molten iron within the Earth's core, creating a protective bubble around our planet. These are just a few examples of the delicate balance that makes life on Earth possible. The interplay of these factors creates a harmonious environment where life can thrive. The Anthropic Principle suggests that this is not just a lucky coincidence, but rather a consequence of the universe's properties. It posits that the universe must have the properties necessary for life, because we are here to observe it. If any of these factors were slightly different, we wouldn't be here to ponder the mysteries of the cosmos. Even minor variations in the fundamental constants of nature could render the universe lifeless. The fine-tuning of our planet is a testament to the intricate interplay of forces that govern our universe. From the gravitational pull that keeps planets in orbit to the nuclear forces that power stars, every aspect of the cosmos is finely tuned. It raises profound questions about the nature of our existence and our place in the grand scheme of things. Are we a mere accident in a vast indifferent universe or is there a deeper purpose to our existence? These questions continue to inspire scientists, philosophers and thinkers as they explore the mysteries of the cosmos. Beyond the specific conditions on Earth, the very laws of physics themselves seem to be fine-tuned for life. These laws are governed by fundamental constants, such as the speed of light, the gravitational constant, and the mass of an electron. These constants have precise values that dictate how the universe behaves. Even slight variations in these values would result in a drastically different universe, one likely inhospitable to life as we know it. For example, if the strong nuclear force, which holds atomic nuclei together, was slightly weaker, Stars wouldn't be able to fuse hydrogen and helium, the processes that power stars and create the building blocks of life. If gravity was slightly stronger, stars would burn out much faster, leaving insufficient time for life to evolve. The remarkable precision of these constants has led some to believe that they are not merely random values, but are somehow fine-tuned for the emergence of life. This idea is not just a casual observation, but a profound insight into the nature of our universe. This is a central argument in favor of the strong anthropic principle, suggesting a deeper level of order or design in the universe. The fine-tuning of the universe's fundamental constants raises profound questions about the nature of reality and the possibility of other universes with different laws of physics. It is a topic that continues to fascinate and challenge our understanding of the cosmos. Consider the implications of these constants being different. If the electromagnetic force were slightly stronger or weaker, the chemistry of atoms and molecules would be entirely different, potentially preventing the formation of complex molecules necessary for life. The balance of these forces is so delicate that even a minuscule change could render the universe lifeless. This leads to the intriguing possibility of a multiverse where countless other universes exist, each with its own set of physical laws and constants. In some of these universes, the conditions might be so different that life, as we understand it, could never arise. The multiverse theory suggests that our universe is just one of many, and we happen to live in the one where the conditions are just right for life. This idea, while speculative, opens up new avenues of thought and exploration in both physics and philosophy. As we continue to explore the cosmos and delve deeper into the laws that govern it, we may uncover more about why these constants are what they are. Whether they are the result of some deeper principle or simply a cosmic coincidence remains one of the greatest mysteries of our time. The quest to understand the fine-tuning of the universe is not just a scientific endeavor, but a philosophical one as well. It challenges us to think about our place in the cosmos and the very nature of existence itself. As we push the boundaries of our knowledge, we may one day find more accurate answers to these profound questions, or perhaps uncover even deeper mysteries that await us in the vast expanse of the universe. So what do you think? Is there an inherent design in the grand scheme of things, or is life a mere cosmic accident? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this, please consider liking and subscribing for more cosmic content. Push the bell icon to be updated with exciting new content about the cosmos on the go.